Hi everyone, and welcome to the Spring Seasonal Lunar Meditation. To begin this meditation, I would like you to sit comfortably with your feet flat on the floor. Close your eyes and begin to relax. Take in a deep breath. Hold and release. Take in another deep breath. Hold and release. Take in one more deep breath while continuing to relax. Hold and release. Begin a normal breathing rhythm. See yourself surrounded by cool darkness. Uneasiness creeps its way within, and fear begins to take hold. Suddenly, it is replaced by a warmth that begins to envelop you all around. The heavy, thick tension of your day is being replaced by enthusiasm, optimism, and a willful drive without direction. A sliver of moonlight allows shadow figures to dart and dash through your peripheral vision. Light condenses before you in the form of three women. One looks quite young, another mature, and the other ancient. Smiling, the younger woman approaches you and speaks. Good evening, she says. I am Beth Cole, daughter of the void. We are here to open you to the reflective energies of spring. I shall aid in focusing your consciousness on the positive qualities of personal expression. This will initiate and help inspire an exploration into who you are while giving you the courage to move forward. This will pioneer the confidence to direct your own life. Bending forward with open hands, she places them before your eyes. A subtle light swirls upward and takes the form of an animal. Within the middle of it is the sign of Aries. Barely visible. A vortex builds in the center of your forehead, spinning clockwise, and just above your eyes. It is the darkest swirling blue you've ever seen. She places the animal spirit through the vortex directly into your brow. Instinctively, you know this totem will help in opening Aries. Speaking again, she says, this will continue to build until its energy cycle of personal interaction is reached, dear one. 
stepping back. Hands open, the swirling light return. Again, she says, negative qualities of personal interaction shall be released to enhance those positive aspects of personal expression. As she explains, an herb with the mark of Libra takes form in her hands. Now you will release sincerity, self-indulgence, indecision, manipulation, and laziness. Touching your shoulder lightly, she backs away, disappearing into shadow. The mature woman moves forward, saying, I represent the fullness of spring, creative substance, and my name is Eve. Her eyes reflect the fullness of the moon. Their gaze is hypnotic, peaceful, and content. She reaches out with both hands, saying, Relax, allow me to fertilize and empower your emotional nature. We shall grow affection, security, and value. You will become kind, gentle, loyal, determined, and stable. Beauty shall be discovered in all of its forms. In her hands, the shape of a crystal stone appears. Taurus is etched on its surface. She places the totem into your brow. and then speaks again. Negative aspects of creative sensitivity must also be released in order to enhance this growing energy. Another totem forms in her hand, this time of a metal. Once more explaining to you, she says, I rid you of jealousy, violence, vindictiveness, and vengeful destruction. Placing the totem inside your brow, she kisses your forehead and glides away and is lost within the shadows. As the old woman approaches, you feel peace reflected in her eyes. Her gaze is hypnotic, peaceful, and content. Speaking now, she says, I am Shekinah, the feminine manifestation and guardian of the tree of life. You shall open to the spiritual interaction of spring through me. We will complete the seasonal cycle while making ready the transition into summer. Stare deeply into my eye and open your curiosity charm, and humor. Embrace the need for inventiveness, precision, and cheerfulness. Allow your thoughts to clear, 
and objective paths to open. Her hands open, revealing an herb with the sign of Gemini inscribed on its surface. She places the totem into your brow. And begins to speak once again. To enhance spiritual interaction, it is a necessity that you release negative qualities of spiritual expression. There forms an animal spirit totem in her hand. And she explains. With this totem, you release bigotry, dogma, exaggeration, overindulgence, and coarseness. Understand, fidelity is not an affront of freedom or one's liberty. After putting the totem into your brow, she backs away, saying... Three cycles of oppositional building and release shall repeat throughout the season. Focus, embrace, sense these cycles. Allow us to become a part of you along with the season. We want nothing more than to share our love with you. Good night, dear one. She now backs away, shimmering bright, then fades into shadow. Once again, you are encompassed by darkness. However, there is no fear. The presence of the three are within, assuring safety. The air around you becomes thick, cool, but soothing now. It is time to come back now to this reality. Take in a deep breath. Hold and release. Take in another deep breath. Hold. And release. Take in one more deep breath. Hold. And release. Transition now into a normal breathing rhythm. Begin to move your fingers and your toes. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes to find yourself sitting with your feet flat on the ground. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us for this seasonal meditation. And we do hope to see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.